presented by Vintage Guitar Magazine with your host, me, James Patrick Regan, otherwise known as Jimmy from the Deadlies. And today I'm speaking with the Nash villain, Troy Johnson, Scott Lindsay, and Brett Boyette. Collectively, they have written and produced music for feature films, television shows, and major artists like the Dixie Chicks, Keith Urban, Cassidy Pope, and James Taylor. And now they're a veritable super group of Nashville writers that are performing all over the country. We spoke at the Live at the Vineyard event in Napa, California. In our conversation, we cover their previous careers as songwriters, performers, and producers. We discuss how they met writing songs for the movie Forever My Girl. We talk guitars and gears and all their gear adventures. And we talk studio guitarists like Tim Pierce and Tom Bukovac. We talk about their future plans and venues they're playing. We talk about the music business and how it works for them. And we talk about how they differentiate themselves from live everyone else in country music. You can find out more about the Nash Villains at their website, nashvillainsband.com. That's N-A-S-H-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S-B-A-N-D.com. And of course, they're on all the socials. Please like, comment, and most of all, share this podcast. I'd really appreciate it. And please support Vintage Guitar Magazine and all the wonderful things they do for us guitar players because they do so many wonderful things for us guitar players. Here's the Nash Villains. Did you have a nice Easter? Yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah it was I just it was nice. Uh, I played oh, in uh, Fort Bragg, very close, well, oh, cool. about three hours towards the ocean. Yeah. But I was just wondering if the Easter Bunny did that to your pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I paid for them to be this way. I bought you them this way. You did not. Yeah, I bought them Somebody this way. Got so. off that. Yeah, I know it. Who I know. did? Uh, was it Manuel or who did that? I think he needs some new pants, uh, boy. You know, I'm not quite. Or Jaime. Uh, I've I've got some Manuel things actually, but now I'm not sure who done this one. I think we just bought this at a like Buckle or somewhere. Didn't oh, we? is that what? Yeah, not not to be, you know, giving endorsements to people. Oh, you know? this, we yeah. we can give endorsements. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> or I, or we don't we'll have to. <laughs> yeah. So you guys are the Nash Villains. Nash no. Villains. We are the Nash Villains. Nash Villains. Oh, don't feel well, bad. I, now, we're on, now we're on. Now we're just we we took a terrible turn. <laughs> No, no, nobody's done it ever. You're the only one. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, introduce yourselves, please. I'm Scott Lindsay. Oh. And you're the what? Uh, I'm the utility guy in the band, and I'm also the eye candy. So. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> right on. I'm Troy. I'm the lead singer. I'm Brett, and I'm the lead guitar player and producer. Okay, great. It's nice meeting all you. My name's James, by the way. Hi, James. Hey, James. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> Before becoming the Nash villain, villains, not yeah. villains. You'll get it. I'm just going to keep trying. Yeah, yeah. The, what, what did you guys do before before this? Oh, many, many things. Yeah. Uh, well, you well know, let's it, see that. I don't know. <laughs> and the people at the other end, like at the other end of this thing, yeah. they don't know. Either. Yeah, they don't know. But, you know, it's way too much to mention. But uh, we we'll, we'll, the, we'll do a few. Yeah, we all had separate careers yeah. before this. But go ahead. Yeah. Well, so me, uh, you know, I've been a songwriter in Nashville for, uh, you know, for uh, you know since the late 90s and everything. So okay. uh, I've had some success on some major acts and some independent acts and, uh, you know, lots of songs cut and some of them actually you've heard. So What with us? Uh, well, one of them, the most famous one is probably uh, Some Days You Gotta Dance. The Dixie Chicks cut okay. that one yeah. on their Fly record. Okay. And, uh, uh, you know, in addition to that... Uh, it was actually first cut by Keith Urban when he was with the ranch. Oh, wow. Then the chicks cut it. And then uh, James Taylor cut it. Wow. On one of his. Uh, and all my songwriter friends, are, that's the one they're jealous that's of. That's the one, yeah. That's the yeah, one that that's they're jealous of. I mean, of. I'm jealous of all three of them. Yeah. That one especially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When James Taylor cuts your song, you're like, yeah. wow. I mean, it's like God <laughs> cutting I mean, James your song. James Taylor was on Apple Records, man. It's signed by the Beatles. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, and did right. much more what, than that. Yeah. The, one of the first on Apple yeah, Records. Yeah. Uh, but um, and bad finger. Yeah, well, the the uh, 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 he 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 did a record called Covers. Uh huh. And and when he was uh, when he did a, a CMT show with the Chicks, that was one of the songs he chose. Uh, okay. It was mine. And you know his rendition, you know, is amazing. And then and then he started doing it in his live shows, uh -huh. along with you know a bartender blues and you know that kind of thing. And Wichita Lineman and all that kind of stuff. Oh, so he did a, a record of the covers he does live. Okay. And it just happened that at that time in his career, he was doing my song in his shows. And, you know, it just happened that Kismet just put me on that record. Pretty awesome. I know. Yeah. I was do, you like, have a, Whoa. do you have a much nicer house than these two? 
Ah, we won't go into that. No, does, it, does your ex-wife have a much nicer? Ah, husband? yeah. No, she's not an ex-wife yet. Oh, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, that's a joke. I know. You know that too. Yeah, sure. I get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. The it's a feather in my cap for sure. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely, cool. absolutely. Um, I had a record deal uh, mid two thousands. Uh, uh, 2009, 2005, 2000, I don't know. Somewhere around there. 2009, I think. An odd was. number in the 2000s. Yeah, yeah. 2009. Okay. Uh, I had a song out called You Only Call Me When You're Drunk that I wrote with uh, buddy uh, Jody Lineberry and our other buddy Josh Osborne. And it spent some time on the charts for me and sent me all over the country, you know. Yeah. Done lots of shows with lots of different people, you know. And uh, I had a few cuts here here and there you know a blackstone cherry cut oh wow and uh you guys just had a kevin costner yeah me me and troy wrote a song with jack williams and kevin costner that, wow that he cut for uh yellowstone okay a song called won't stop loving you and uh other than that i just done a lot of touring mm-hmm. you know yeah and uh just trying to make it happen that, you know you're right here making yeah. it happen <clears throat> drinking wine yeah. Wait, you're drinking oh, wine. Okay. I'm drinking wine. And water. Yeah. You just brought the water for looks. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, well, I've written for a bunch of different artists. Okay. Uh, some country artists like uh, Cassidy Pope wrote a single for her, uh, Lauren Elena, Josh Turner, uh, Travis Tritt. Oh. You know, wow. I produced some of the, the people as well. Uh huh. Um, I used to be in a actually another project that was like a swing. 1920s swing band and we toured with the Brian Setzer Orchestra okay uh, we did like 28 29 days with him yeah um, but besides that I mostly what was but what was the band called Totsy T-O-T-S-Y, T-O-T-S-Y. okay um, but the rest of the time I've been scoring films TV shows okay. uh, writing uh, I met these guys doing a movie called Forever My Girl you just ruined my next question. Uh, oh, <laughs> I kind of, I kind of, I kind of sensed you were going to ask. That. Yeah. So, um, so we met. Uh, Troy was was uh, doing the the vocals on a lot of the projects of the uh, soundtrack that I was working on, and Scott came over and we wrote for the movie together, and um, yeah. And then you guys decided you could just. We decided coming. we're going to do a band together. Yeah. Yeah, and then we had to get on our knees and beg Troy, and you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the rest <And> is history. <laughs> who plays drums in the band? Oh, well, the band, we're a trio of singers and guitar yeah, yeah, players. Yeah. So whenever we get a band, we, we know we hire some guns and uh-huh. you know go out and do, the, do it that way. So we hire a rhythm section and we take care of everything else. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've got some great session uh, drummers or buddies of ours that, that have, most of them have played on the record and we hire them. Yeah, you can't throw a stone too far and not hit a great player in Nashville. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> are you, where are you guys from originally? I'm from Kentucky, a place called Beaver Dam. It's a bluegrass country. Rose, uh, Rosine, where Bill Monroe's from, is, is right there. Okay. You know, so. That's where he still lives, and he, and he commutes yeah. to Nashville. Yeah. How far is it from, from there to About Nashville? An hour and a half. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. But, it's uh, a cakewalk. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that's where, that's where I'm from and still, and still live. I, I lived in Nashville for a while, but, but uh, moved back up home. <laughs> Uh, I'm originally I'm from Houston, Texas, more more specifically Katy, Texas. Okay. And uh, I moved up to Nashville, um, you know, mid '90s. I was, uh, you know, 17 and stuff, and and went to Belmont University, and and you know, fell in love with the area, and just being a songwriter was was you know my main focus. Yeah, you moved there before it was stuff. cool. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I like to think that at least. Yeah, <laughs> I was there before the Titans were there, and and wow. before before Second there's Avenue there's was the there, Oilers, and right? yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if, played at Vanderbilt State. Yeah, when I moved up, they yeah they were still in Houston as the Oilers yeah. for sure. But yeah. so so I'm doubly a fan of the Titans simply because they moved to me. Uh-huh. You know, so it's a, it's a lot of fun <laughs> they, rooting they them on. They missed you, Troy. They did. They missed me <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Uh, I'm from Evergreen, Colorado. Okay. Uh, small little mountain town. Sure. Uh, west of Denver. Yeah. Rooster used to live there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Who, what, Rooster? Yeah, you know Rooster? No, no, he no, used no, to do no, trailer trash pedal boards. Oh, okay. Cool. And he moved to Nashville, too. Well, we have a really famous bar called The Little Bear in oh. Evergreen, Colorado, and Willie Nelson used to be part owner of it. Okay. And he had his land there before <laughs> the IRS days where he had a teepee. Uh-huh. On his land, that they were he and apparently he and Christopherson were always going out there smoking pot. 
Yeah, yeah. among other things. Among, other, <laughs> among whatever else was around. Yeah. 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 Um, but I, I moved to Nashville. Um, well, I, I lived in Texas. And I went to college in Texas. Moved to Nashville. Moved to New York. Moved to L.A. Then moved back to Nashville. Okay. So, there wow. we go. And, okay, guitars. Because it is vintage guitar magazine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to talk guitars. Uh, p- please. Guitars, what do you have? Well, the one I use is a Gibson J45. Okay. And it's a reissue, but it was a Father's Day gift in 2005. And it's, you know, my baby and... Uh, Your kids are old enough to buy you a guitar. Like, Well, <laughs> that didn't come from my son. <laughs> it came from my wife. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, but no, she was kind enough to get me... Uh, I, I was, uh, uh, you know, between guitars at the time. I had... Uh, actually, the... The reason she got it was because I had a couple of stolen, uh, not not you know a couple months before that. Okay, and so she was helping me replace yeah. what I had lost. I had lost a, 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 a Martin HD twenty eight. And you know, Do you know the serial number? We can put it down here. No, right. I don't. <laughs> I don't know the serial number. Uh, and it, there, I also lost a um, a Gibson one twenty five. Oh yeah, you know, of course. Like the, yeah, the, the little P ninety. Yeah, one P one P ninety. Yeah, no cutaway. Was I know. So yeah. sweet. <laughs> I used to in about in two thousand three. I was touring as an artist on my own, and that's what I would use. I had a basement amp that I put it through. And, yeah. Wow. You know this little pedal board, and it was yeah. you know. Back in the uh, you know time when you know sort of the singer songwriter, you know um, Gavin DeGraw when he first came in, back in that era, yeah. and uh, it went over really well. I had some uh, you know some flat wound strings on it, and sure you're trying and, to be Chris Whitley. Just oh, go ahead and say it. Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> I wasn't going to bring it up, but I thanks for calling me out on that, James. <laughs> But anyway, so that's that's what I use, and you know, my next uh, purchase, if, if once I can afford it, is is probably going to be a, uh, you know, the jumbo, the J the J two hundred. Sure. And um, I'm a Gibson guy. Yeah. I just love that that Gibson's right there in Nashville. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. It just you you bang on it, and it 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 just sounds. You just got need that to hook up with Caesar. It's got just that work knock on his door workhorse. Mentality. It's not a. I don't want to call anybody out, but it's not a tailor that's too pristine for. Oh, don't even. Uh, okay, okay. Can, can and then it's, and you know it's and you know the the Martins. It, that's another one I, I love, but there's just something about the the velvet sound of a of a Gibson that, I'm that you can't be. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm not bagging on. And honestly, I don't I don't bang on tailors either. But yeah. th- there's just a hi-fi sound to them that that I prefer the the duller. I'm with you. You know. Oh, yeah, more yeah. subtle and yeah. and um, it's got more of a dark sound, which I, I, I love that. that yeah, I, that's yeah. that's why I like them. And, well, uh, and they're doves and the and I'm very aesthetically you know drawn, so they're just they're just beautiful instruments. Oh yeah, and, absolutely. And uh, boy, get, get, okay, are we gonna keep talking about guitars? <laughs> well, we, utility guy, he's gonna tell us about about what he's all got. of his good what he plays. <laughs> yeah, I've got a lot of them. Uh, well, my electric. It is a 53 and a 59 Tele fused together. Wow. The the neck is a 53, the body is a 59. Okay. And I had Joe Glazer uh-huh. fuse them together. And file that year of Tele, the fretboard is rounded. Yeah. So I had it filed down. So that's my old Tele. Now, my, I've got a Taylor guitar, which I love, a Taylor acoustic, which I love. My wife got me. Oh. My wife got me. Yeah. Okay. But now, for touring... He's, he's piggybacking off my... Stuff. For touring, for touring and stuff, and it's out in the car, I've, I've got a... Uh, it's a 1971 or 72, I can't figure the year yet, Gibson J45. And uh, I found it on a wall in Kentucky. Wow. And I gave 350 bucks for it. And then I took it and had it fixed. So I've got like 650 bucks in this guitar. All right, on. Sweet. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I'll show it to you in a bit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll take yeah. a picture of it. But that, that's the two acoustics and the electric that I use. And uh, I've got another electric, too, of old Valley Arts guitar. You remember sure. those? Yeah. Valley Arts used yeah. to do all the custom I, work for Gibson. Yeah, I had a I had a endorsement deal with them back with my first record deal, and they built me a guitar. Right on. You know, I didn't have a full endorsement. I still had to pay some for it. But. Yeah, of course. <laughs> no, that's the way that works. Yeah. That's now. called endorsements. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, what about so utility? What yeah. about mandolins, banjos? Well, my mando, I've just got old Fender, you know, mando right now. Uh, electric mandolin? Yeah, 
Yeah. All right. Your choice. What would you play? Well, I I want a Gibson. You yeah, know? of course. But yeah. no. But I'm I'm curious about this this Fender electric mandolin. Is it the yeah. four string one? No, it's eight string. Oh, it's, it's the it's like an it's acoustic mandolin that's got it's, some yeah, sort of pick. It's, it's, uh, it's not yeah. the sixties. It sounds great. Plays great. You know. Yeah. And, yeah. He just played it. We just did a show. And yeah. It does sound great. Yeah. And, great I mean, it's it's like I think it costs like. 300 bucks 350 bucks and take it on road if it gets a little dinged up yeah you know yeah. you gotta tune it every five minutes you gotta tune it all the time <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 especially playing outside that, that's it exactly right yeah. there and my banjo i've got to get an electric banjo if we're going to start using that on the road but right now i've i just use it i've got an old court uh-huh my uncle colson from hazard kentucky he's been gone now at least 10 years but he played it all the time. He played the slack, sure. you know, banjo. And he died 10 years ago. He was 90 years old. Wow. And uh, he just gave it to me. All right. Like, on. Less than a year before he died. And uh-huh. I just, I fixed it back up, you know, and that's what I, that's what I play. Uh-huh. You know? Are you banging on it like the heat it? Or yeah. are you? <laughs> well, I, well, I, I roll. Uh-huh. I, I roll, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a it's real a five string. It's yeah. not one of those ganjos. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's the authentic article. But yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, need, I also need to get me a Gibson banjo. You know, I should talk to I should talk to the label bosses about all this stuff I need. You need yeah, to talk right? to Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys can leave. We're, now we're going to talk. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right, all right. Now get serious. Yeah. So, so where do I start? I have, I have a lot of guitars. That's okay. Um, Let, the highlights. Okay, highlights. We've got D forty five Martin. Uh, what year? I love uh, that. That one's actually new. When I was touring with Brian Setzer, I was one of the last artist deals that they did. Actually, they told me so. We toured when we were in Pennsylvania. We, we toured the factory. Okay. And uh, they they gave me it was again fifty percent off. Yeah. Which was uh, still very sure, expensive. Sure, several thousand dollars. Yeah, still yeah. very expensive. Um, one guitar that I have, it's a pretty. I will say, let me. That, that is a sweet sounding guitar. He's Martin. Yeah. He never pulls it out. But, you know, the Martin sounds amazing. It is a good guitar. <laughs> Never let anybody play it. <laughs> well, you know, and the Martins, I mean, they, they sound so much better also when they, they as they cure. Sure. And they oh, yeah. cure. So the older it gets, like, you know, uh, my, my buddy in uh, L.A., Tim Pierce, he has like a 1940. Five as, as Martin and it, and it sounds amazing. Yeah, yep. you know. So, a couple of years it's going to be even better. Yep. You know? um, I have a, P, a PT two hundred, which is a it's, it's an SJ two hundred, but it's a PT two hundred. Okay. Pete Townsend. Oh, okay. So it's it says sample run in it. So I didn't realize it was a sample run until I was I was actually endorsed by Gibson, my last band. And we were playing the Gibson showroom in Beverly Hills. This or is this a different? Totsie. Okay. Yeah. And they were up taking pictures of my guitar. I was uh-huh. like, what is going on? I, I, and they said, oh, you don't understand. It's like, there's two of these. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I toured with that guitar. I'm like, you know. Yeah, banged it yeah, up. Yeah, banged it up. You know. I looked inside. It says sample runs. Wow. Two, which is kind of cool. Um, I've got a uh, Country Gentleman, 1967 Gretsch Country Gentleman. Wow. Tennessean. The, uh-huh. My buddy that was in the Beach Boys gave me. Wow. Um, Who's your buddy that was in the Beach Boys? Scott Bennett. Okay. Yeah, he was he was in the the Beach Boys. He was in Brian Wilson's band for several years. Then the, uh-huh. then the last rendition of the Beach Boys. He was in the Beach Boys. Yeah. Uh, 1974 Fender Stratocaster was the first guitar I ever bought. Oh wow! Bust tables uh-huh. to go get get enough money to go to a pawn shop and buy it. And then you just had the, the bottom pickup out and yeah, and put it, in a humbucker. It still sounds amazing. <laughs> I did actually. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It still sounds amazing. Um, I've got a, a Les Paul uh, custom, um, which is a great guitar. I love that guitar. Uh-huh. Um, which year? What year? That's uh, in the nineties. Okay. That was a, like a ninety. Not the not the ugly seventies. No, it's like a ninety five. It's it's a beautiful guitar. It's purple, like uh, tiger stripe wood. And it's, uh-huh. it's, it's amazing. Um, three thirty five, a nineteen seventy blonde, three thirty five. Um, is, I've got a 1923 National okay. uh, Resonator. Uh-huh. Steel body or wood? Steel body. Okay. And uh, actually, the singer of Totsi, she gave it to me, but it was her grandfather's, and she never played wow. it. It's just, it's, it was just sitting under her bed. Wow. She's like, hey, do you want this? I was like, yes. Yes, yeah. I do. <laughs> um, what else? How about amps? Oh, uh, I play a Heartbreaker, a Mesa Boogie Heartbreaker. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'm actually going to buy a divided by 13. Uh-huh. Um, Good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> lots of pedals. But now, uh, see, when you guys get the deal with Gibson, yeah. 
the Gibson owns Mesa now, or are they, you know, they're together. So. I do love Mesas. Yeah. Mesas I love how he says when. <laughs> That's great. I guess it's a deal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, yeah. I, used to, I used to have a dual rectifier. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So my dad actually bought me in high school a Super Beetle a box. Yep. And he sold it and a 1960s Fender Jaguar for $500 for both. Kills me. Wait. We had no idea how yeah. much it was worth. Why did he sell it, though? He didn't know what it was worth. Yeah, that was but, like the first guitar I ever had. And the, and the, yeah, but that's what I'm asking. Why did you, did you give it up? Were you going to start playing no, soccer instead? No, I was in a punk rock band. And oh. I, I, he was like, he didn't care about this. Dude, when, when I first started playing, <laughs> my dad got me a, uh, a Fender uh, Twin Verb amp, yeah. one of the tall ones. Yeah. Yeah. It got the kickstands on it. You lay it back. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Sounded great, but I wanted I wanted to do metal, so I, <laughs> right. I traded that oh, thing no. even we go. for a crate yeah. half stack. Oh, oh my dad god, dad was so pissed at me. Oh, and that, now I look god. back and I'm like, I'm yeah, pissed at myself. You, know, yeah. you gotta go through a metal phase. Yeah, yeah. everyone goes through a metal phase. Jackson Charvel, right? Oh, yeah, I had an god. ESP. You know the oh, ESP? Oh, of course. Yeah, and I, it was 24 fret, um, and it had a airbrush painting of it uh, of um, Cindy Crawford in a bikini on. <laughs> I still have that yeah, <laughs> by Eddie Meeks to go back to what you were saying about your twin reverb I blame half of that deal on the guy you, you on the guy you uh, traded with Yeah, because he knew what he was doing, he knew what he was doing and that was totally taking advantage of a, <laughs> of a dumb kid. kid. Yeah. 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 Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Well, anyway, so so now I play a two, uh, what I have is a 2006 songwriter we tour with. Okay. Uh, you know Gibson songwriter. We yeah. can beat okay. up a little bit more, but I still like it. So, yeah. Oh, that sounds good too. I mean, yeah. it's brand new, but my yeah. goodness, it sounds. Yeah, it sounds great. So you got you guys when you're touring, you're just playing acoustic. No, uh, no. We, we do. Uh, we have two iterations of the band. We oh. have a two acoustic trio. We do, and then with the okay. band, we'll do. I'll do acoustic. I mean, I'm the yeah. lead singer. I don't got to play electric. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got to play a lot when I when yeah, there's yeah, a band. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But these guys will, you know, yeah, play acoustic and electric, whatever, whatever it needs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, no, it's okay. I can keep going. <laughs> baritones. And, yeah, you, know, you got the 12-string, too. Well, you, well, you didn't yeah, even you talk did. about the dobro with that you're that you're playing with now. Oh, I was playing a uh, Gretsch dobro. Oh, did oh. you mention that? I'm well, sorry. it's a resonator, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. What's that? Yeah. What's that old? Uh, is an ovation? An old acoustic? <laughs> so that's that's another that's another one my buddy in the Beach Boys gave me. Yeah. Ovation Oh, uh, Wow. Yeah. It's like, Any, like old Neil Diamond guitar is what I call it. It sounds mine. amazing. Yeah. 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 You know. It's very Danny Partridge. Yeah. 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 Extremely popular in the seventies yeah. and yeah. early eighties. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime somebody comes up to me that's not in the industry that I just meet randomly and they say, Yeah, I got an old guitar at home. I go, What is it, an ovation? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, I quickly learned it wasn't about the branding of the of the guitar, it's all about the sound. Oh, of and, and I mean the session players they'll have like crazy branded guitars. Oh, yeah. They're all homemade and, and stuff because yeah. they sound great. Yeah, exactly. So And how'd you get hooked up with Tim Tim Pierce? Um, so I was being produced by Keith Olson. Okay. Uh, who's a, I don't know if you know who Keith Olson. Yeah, is. I do. Uh, he was a big record producer in the '80s and yeah. '90s, and uh, he was he introduced me to Tim. Okay. So because Tim played on everything. Tim played on my record. At that uh, okay. Time. Tim played yeah. on our record. Did he really? Yeah, he played on our record. All right. And, uh, yeah, he's he's uh, he's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Between him and Tom Bukovac, that's about it. And yeah. Bukovac also Bukovac. played on our record. Yeah. We got Bukovac yeah. on there too. Yeah. Yeah. We love Bukovac. Oh, of course. Yeah. Who doesn't love Bukovac? Yeah. yeah. He's gonna, he's actually going to be in Napa on May 5th. Oh, oh man. Man. Well, in fact, when I moved back to Nashville, I, I called Tim. And I said, hey, man, who who would you suggest that I call for playing on records? He said, Tom Bukovac. Yeah. Hands down. Yeah. I mean, so he's right. Yeah. Yeah. But there's also Saul Littlefield uh, we use a lot. Saul's, Saul's great. Good. and There's a, there's a lot if of If you haven't heard him yet, you will. Okay. Yeah. He, he's a younger cat, but Luke he's, he's amazing. Stuff. Yeah, he sort of slid into Bukovac's spot when, when, when Tom started, you know, doing the... The uh, the show the yeah. I don't know if he still does that that internet show oh, yeah, he, yeah, he still does that yeah and doing the live stuff that he does now Wilson yeah. yeah 
Yeah, yeah. Tom's a Tom's was, a crazy cat. That man. was um, Ilya Tashinsky. I don't know if you know Ilya. Uh. He's uh, he was in the, the band Bering Straits. Okay. The Russian, they're all Russian guys. Yeah. But anyways, uh, I was using Tom all the time, and I had a, I do a lot of sessions with Ilya as band leader, and he's like, all right, you gotta try this new kid. Uh, and I was like, eh, Saul yeah, Littlefield. I I, yeah, and I was like, eh, I don't know, man. It takes a lot for a producer to try a new guitar yeah. player. You know, and I was like, yeah. eh, I don't know. And then Tom wasn't available one day, and it was just Saul that was available. I was like, all right. So we did, we had uh, Saul show up, and man, he killed it. I was like, yep, I'm going to hire this guy. Right on. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Glad to hear that. Stuff. So so now that you guys have two, iter- two durations of the band, mm-hmm. what are you doing? Like, are you touring, or is it like a constant... Ta- constant tour or we, we, no? It's not constant. Days. We're we're yeah. gearing up for that. Yeah. You yeah. know, we're trying to we're trying to find some dates to fill and and yeah, we have some some local shows coming up and and some opportunities. Hold that mic up, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, opportunities yeah. coming up, but yeah. you know, the pandemic, of course, screwed you know, everything. Screwed up. everything yeah. up, and so uh, we we sort of formed and and got our feet. Uh, you know, feet under our legs uh, in 2019. Oh, right and then before. Bam, yeah. You know, everything changed, and our plan had to change. Uh-huh. And so we were a baby act back then, and now coming out of the pandemic, we're still sort of in that that so that we're thing. Just babies. We're, yeah. we're just well, babies. I mean, we just released our record. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, so the point is, is you're that you're billed as a super group. I don't know if you read that. Well, yeah. Individually, <laughs> we're we're awesome, but together, you know, we're we're still, we're still working all the kinks out. Yeah. Together, out. we're new. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And then individually, we've all had careers besides us. Uh, sure. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. The, and what kind of places you guys playing when you when you're out? I mean, you're medium I, venues, it, medium me, venues, and and theaters and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like like five hundred, twenty five hundred. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, uh, and less. Not to get. <laughs> not <laughs> to get too personal, but like city winery kind of stuff. Yes, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. city yeah. wineries. And and then people, um, people obviously know you because of, of your individual successes. Yes, but the do those people come to the Nash Villains yeah. shows? They're yeah. starting yeah. to. Yeah. 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 Now that's getting out there. They're- you know, yeah. they, they, no, they no longer know our names. We're just names. Well, I mean, our individual <laughs> our, our individual credentials help with the industry, you know, side of things. And the cred. Sure. Yeah, cred. and and so you know, the, and then the social media has helped with the the general fan population. Yeah. How how important is social media? Well, yeah. You know how? What are we doing here? Uh, yeah. That's not what it's, that's a podcast. I don't know. It's social media. Yeah, uh, it's all connected, man. Yeah. It's all social media at this point. Well, it's very important. Yeah, I mean, it's all for better now, or worse. It's, it's very important. Yeah, Facebook and Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Yeah. We're on all those platforms. And when you guys you, have you released a record? Yeah, yes. we, we just did. We just yeah, did? March the fourth. March fourth yeah. was when it came out yeah. fully. And and is it a physical product or is it just? Both we do have physical product, yes. Yeah. But who you know? We're gonna do uh, vinyl as well. Uh, yeah, because uh, I think people. That's coming vinyl. back for sure. And I yeah. heard actually cassettes are coming back. Yeah, not really. What? <laughs> that's not happening. I heard that a couple no, of years no, ago, no, and I was like, well, that's, same with eight tracks. It's, it's, it's yeah, very same novel. Same with eight tracks, right? <laughs> yeah. The. And but the phys- like so CDs and stuff and and the vinyl uh, you haven't printed yet so it probably won't be out for another year, probably. The, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. right. The because right. of supply uh, chain issues. Yeah, probably. <laughs> well, this, it was just it was backed up because everybody thought vinyl was going to make a huge comeback. So yeah. then yeah. all the and all the places that right. make vinyl are yeah. are backed up. But yeah, so that is a supply chain issue that has nothing to do with the with China. <laughs> right. The. Are you guys selling physical product at the shows and stuff like that? Yes. How and T-shirts and stuff like that? Is that it, all merch? Yeah. Yeah. Is that what's what's funding the band? Is that is that what funds the? Wow, band? you're really getting personal, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We have we have a team. We have we have money behind us. Oh, okay. so we're, we're signed to a label, and, yeah. the, and the label has money. Okay. And, and I dance right. on weekends. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> we, we pimp Scott out. You play restaurants during the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. We all do it. Yeah, totally. <laughs> does that whole magic mic thing. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, no, I, I don't. Not not to get too personal, but but I just I, you know people are interested in how how it works. Yeah, the, yeah, the reality. Sure. Well, I mean, we're all in the music industry. We all still wear multiple hats as members of the music yeah, industry sure. so yeah. I still I mean I sing demos for people yeah. I, I do stuff like that this is our full time though we don't yeah. we, we don't 
you know, mm. do other jobs. Yeah, but he's yeah. asking how we fund our. Yeah, band. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we're we're, we're musicians full you know. time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just no, the label just, funds everything we need to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. and you know you guys are probably like two three years older than some of the young girls that are that are playing live in the vineyard, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, how do you what do you, how do you how does that feel how does it feel when you see when you know they walk in the door and they're getting all the you know everybody's clamoring to talk to them? And oh, you, I said good for them. Okay, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. I said good yeah, for them. Exactly what I, yeah. said to. I, I say <laughs> I should have wore that skirt. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you have the body. Well, I, I mean, we, we're we're a very specific sound. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I think we, we have an audience that likes this sound. Yeah. And I think that's the thing. It's like we're not straight up the ra- up the center country radio competing mm-hmm. with the 22-year-old girl who's just got signed to, sure. to Sony. I mean, that's not yeah. our thing. Yeah. So you know, we're definitely like more of a unique alt country, dark country um, thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's. I think yeah. that's part of our success so far is just two we are so unique. You yeah. know, the sound is is not something you would hear necessarily on country radio. Yeah. We have we have a foot in that arena, but we also have a, a foot in in sure. the more uh, ethereal side of things. If if, if but you I think, wow, but I do think country radio has opened two points up. for ethereal. Yeah, yeah thank you. But, but uh, <laughs> country radio has opened up to this. I mean, I think with with uh, so you guys are getting played on country radio. Well, we are, and I think uh, Blake Shelton opened it up with. Um, God's God's country, Brother and then Osborne. Brothers Osborne in yeah. a church. I mean, yeah, that's it's almost like they're coming to our side of the fence at this yeah. point. Yeah, right on. So I <laughs> like hearing that. Yeah. And how about like like uh, Sirius XM? Are you guys getting played on that? We're working on that. The highway. Yeah, yeah, we're working on that right now. So well, we, have, we have a whole radio team. Our, our people that. are are working that out. Yeah. <laughs> I wish day. I could say that. It's good to have people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then so so back to the the social media stuff. The, are, how do you guys get how do you guys get um, noticed on with everything else that's on going on in the world? We have a social media team. At yeah, well, oh, been, <laughs> thank, thankfully we have a team. So what we yeah. just take pictures, we make videos, yeah. and we just send it to the right person, yeah. and they make it look good, and they post it. Uh, right and, on. You know, yeah, I wish we could take a, more credit for it. That's beautiful. No, yeah. we, we don't. We don't I, I love hearing that. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't know what the first thing about how to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, so you're playing here. Uh, when are you playing here? At, for we just, we just played. Yo, you just played. Uh, we did a. I think it's called Hyde Winery. Oh, Hyde, Hyde, Hyde Mansion or something, or Hyde, oh, yeah. Hyde Manor or anyway. There's H Y D E. H Y D E. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Larry Hyde. Was Larry playing? Hyde there? Yeah. I think he was. Yeah. He's walks with a crutch. Yeah. 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 He's very famous, actually. Uh, we just for did an that, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, we're playing tonight, and yeah. there's a VIP party we're playing tonight. Yeah, it was seven-ish, something like that. Yeah. At, the uh, at a Behringer? Yeah. Oh, Behringer. Oh, Behringer. I think it's oh that's Behringer. something I can't go to. So. Uh, oh, 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 no. <laughs> well, maybe we can <laughs> slip you in the back. No. There, was that, there was that one time. Yeah, what did you do that one time? No, we got I think it's time. like <laughs> media aren't allowed there. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> I cut that. I'm going to cut that out of that. I'm going to make it sound like I went. You'll get in trouble. It's more radio. Right, it's uh, at that tonight, right? We might have to cut that out too. This is all inside baseball. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, I don't, I don't <laughs> yeah, the, uh, yeah. We, just, we just go where they tell. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But how about tomorrow? Are you playing anywhere tomorrow? No, Are you guys no, doing no, the uptown? No. no, no, they're heading back tomorrow. I'm staying for another couple of days to okay. mingle. So. Yeah, uh, Brett's our ambassador, so he's yeah. going to stick around and go yeah, ahead and, right. and do the Nothing thing. And, yeah, not, pay pay people cool. off. We're not yeah. cool enough for uptown, so yeah. we got to go home. Yeah, yeah. You I'm cool fine with for, that. Yeah. <laughs> cool enough for uptown? We're downtown Jeez. kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're a back alley kind of thing. <laughs> and in Nashville, do you, where do you guys play? When so you're, we're about to play the basement. Okay, um, basement. We play the local all the time. We play there quite a bit. Yeah. It's about the only two places we play so far. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully the Opry pretty soon. Yeah, yeah, working on that too. If you had your choice of any club, to, you know, if you're just walking down South Broadway, which club would you walk into? In Nashville. Well, in Nashville. Lower Broad, we, you know. Avoid. avoid. Yeah, well, you, the locals avoid Lower Broad, but uh, Exit In is always a good place to play. Love, I still love Roberts. I still love Tootsies. Yeah. yeah. The old, the old, oh, yeah. The old guard. Yeah. 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 Yep. Um, but, all the ones I've been thrown out of in the past. You know, yeah. Third and Lindsley, we're gonna. I mean, we'll, just, we'll, pro, we'll play there. Yeah, Third and Lindsley is a great place to play. Exit in. I love Exit in. Yeah. Yep. So, all right. But yeah. the basement's a great place to play. Yeah. You know, uh, we've also played uh, that place on Eight. Uh, uh, that's a good venue to play. That you know, when we have lunch, sometimes we go there. I can't remember uh, the Settler. 
Oh, yeah. The Settler. Have you ever been to the Settler? Uh-uh, I haven't yeah. been there. The Settler is, a, is an old mainstay uh, of Nashville. It's closed now. No, it's not. <laughs> what? I think they just closed it. When? Newsflash. Yeah. Like, like, like sure. <laughs> For good? Yeah. Okay, well, we did play the settler. <laughs> we may not, we may not ever play the settler again, but we have played it. And you had lunch there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. After we played it, they said it doesn't get any better. You know yeah. Yeah. yeah, just shut the place. Down. It was either that or enough is enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and what any any chance of you guys like working as support for you know somebody? That's what we're going. Yeah, we're yeah. working yeah. on that. Is that what that's he's all glad, hush hush? That's yeah. the glad handing yeah. part of it. Yeah, that's the glad handing yeah. part. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Dwight Yoakam, maybe here. Hey, Ooh, hey. wouldn't that be nice? I you know him? I don't <laughs> Can you make a phone call? Sure. <laughs> I'll call Eugene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, that's a good place to put that. <laughs> you might have to cut that out too. <laughs> no, why? <laughs> oh, that just. Oh, yeah, I'll cut that out. Sorry. <laughs> this is radio. <laughs> it's not even radio; it's a podcast. Yeah. Usually, it's you know there might be even video attached to it, but I'm yeah. not set up for that right now. Well, I guess I should let you go since we've we've. Already... Yeah, we actually do have another appointment after this. Oh, do you really? So, yeah. With somebody more important? Yes. CMT. I, I, apparently, I'm the one that 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 deals with the yeah. with the I'm timing. The schedule keeper. I'm the schedule keeper. I don't deal with such details. Yeah. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't <laughs> so either. Okay. James, it was great to talk. To oh, you. the pleasure is all mine. Yeah. Sorry to get Thank too you. personal. Yeah. No, 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 I was only kidding. And next time we'll have to talk more guitars. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah that's what everybody's interested. Own more than it. <laughs> well, good. we're gonna hook you up with Gibson. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. We gotta get another endorsement for this. That's right. You hearing that, Gibson? Come on, yes. Gibson. Caesar. Well, they, now they did. And Casey. Us, they did send us some guitars for our last video for who don't. That's yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. We so, just didn't get to keep them. Yeah. Right. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, well, the pleasure is all mine. Nice all right. meeting all of you, James. Thank you. Thank you, so thank you very much. much. Yeah, Have a good you, one. Buddy. You too. You. All right, buddy. Thanks for listening to Have Guitar Will Travel. You can catch up on all the things I'm doing at thedeadlies.com. And I'm on all the social media platforms as well. And please support Vintage Guitar and all the wonderful things they do because they do many, many wonderful things for us guitar players. Thanks. Please subscribe. Please tell a friend. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>